British Nutrition Foundation talk about the Eat Well Guide, the UK government's model of healthy eating. Hi, I'm Roz. And I'm Stacey. And we're nutrition scientists from the British Nutrition Foundation. We're here today to look at what a healthy diet is and give you some tips on how to put this into practice. A healthy diet can help lower the risk of a number of chronic health conditions, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease and some cancers. So eating a healthy balanced diet alongside other lifestyle factors like being active and not smoking is important for maintaining good health and can help us feel at our best. This means eating a wide variety of foods in the right proportions and the right amount of foods and drinks to maintain a healthy body weight. And don't worry, we don't need to meet all of the advice in every single meal. We just need to get the balance right over a day or so. The Eat Well Guide is the UK's healthy eating model. It's a practical tool to help us make healthy choices about the foods and drinks we choose to consume. So what's the Eat Well Guide all about? What should I know about it? The Eat Well Guide is the model used to define the government's advice on a healthy, balanced diet. It's based on five food groups and shows the proportion that each food group should contribute to a healthy, varied and balanced diet. The Eat Well Guide applies to most people, whether you're a vegetarian or from different ethnic backgrounds. It also applies whether you're young or old. However, it doesn't apply to children under two because they have different nutritional needs. Between the ages of two and five, children should gradually move to eating in the proportions shown on the Eat Well Guide. We can also make healthier choices with the help of the information on packs like nutrition labels. You can use this information to choose between foods and help you pick foods that are lower in calories, fat, saturated fat, sugars and salt. Where colour-coded or traffic light labels are used, you can tell if they are high, medium or low in fat, saturated fat, sugars and salt. For a healthier choice, try to pick products with more greens and ambers and fewer reds. Eating plenty of fruit and vegetables is an important element of healthy eating and we should all be aiming to eat at least five portions each day. Fruits and vegetables are a good source of vitamins, minerals and fibre. And don't forget, fresh, frozen, dried, canned and juice all count. Here are five top tips on fruit and veg. Five, include a variety of colours. Different types contain different nutrients. Four, include frozen versions. These generally are cheaper, lead to less waste and are still nutritious. Three, include canned versions. For example, canned tomatoes count towards your five a day and can form the base of many sauces. But try to avoid fruit and veg canned in brine or sugars. Two, try soups with veg and beans. Use the veg left in the fridge and add a can of beans. One, an adult portion size is 80 grams. That's one big fruit like an apple or banana two small fruits like plums, or three to four tablespoons of veg. And a portion of dried fruit is 30 grams. So fruit and vegetables, remember, eat at least five portions of a variety of fruit and vegetables every day. Let's look at the starchy carbohydrates food group. Starchy carbohydrates form the basis of diets from all over the world, whether that's potatoes, cassava, yams, wheat products such as bread, pasta, or different grains such as rice, corn, bulgur wheat and couscous. Starchy carbohydrates are a source of energy and also provide fibre and a range of vitamins and minerals such as B vitamins, calcium and iron. This is an important food group as part of a healthy balanced diet and should make up just over a third of all the food that we eat. Some starchy foods provide us with more nutrients than others so it's important to choose whole grain and higher fibre versions such as wholemeal bread, whole wheat pasta, brown rice, quinoa and potatoes with their skins. Fibre is an essential component to include in your diet for a number of reasons. It helps prevent a number of different disorders including constipation, diverticular disease, bowel cancer and heart disease. So we know that people who have high intakes of fibre have low, um, low risk of developing these different disorders. And that's because of what fibre does in the body. It increases the speed of which food travels through the um, gut and helps us to keep regular when we go to the toilet. When choosing foods from the starchy carbohydrate section of the Eat Well Guide, it's important that we pay careful attention to those that are high fibre. It's important to include some beans, pulses, fish, eggs, meat and other proteins in your diet. When we think about protein, many of us may think about animal sources like red meat, chicken and fish. 
as well as protein, they provide us with essential vitamins and minerals. Red meat, for example, is a good source of iron, and oily fish are natural sources of essential fatty acids and vitamin D. However, we should try to have more plant-based sources of protein in our diet, like beans, peas and lentils. These are often lower in fat, higher in fibre and maybe more environmentally sustainable, so try to replace some of the animal protein in your diet with plant sources of protein. We should eat at least two portions of sustainably sourced fish every week, one of which should be oily. A portion of fish is around 140 grams. Those eating lots of red and processed meats, more than 90 grams cooked weight each day, should cut down to no more than 70 grams per day because of the link with increased risk of colon cancer. Also, think about choosing lean meats and watch out for meat and fish products in pastry, butter or breadcrumbs, as these can be high in fat and or salt. Remember, eat more beans and pulses and aim for at least two portions of sustainably sourced fish per week. It's important to have some dairy foods or dairy alternatives in the diet. This group includes milk, cheese, yoghurt and fromage frais. These foods are good sources of protein and vitamins and dairy foods are also an important source of iodine which you need for healthy skin and calcium which helps to keep our bones strong. This group also includes dairy alternatives like soya drinks and yoghurts. Choose unsweetened and calcium fortified versions of these. Butter and cream are not included in this group. These are high in saturated fat and so if these are included in the diet they should be consumed in small amounts and less often. We should try and choose lower fat dairy foods. You can choose, for example, lower fat milk such as 1% fat or skimmed milk and reduced fat cheeses, or you could just use less of the standard versions. We should also choose dairy with less added sugars, like choosing plain yoghurt. You can always add fruit. You can use food labels to help you make better choices. Dairy and alternatives. Remember, choose lower fat and lower sugar versions. The Eat Well Guide includes a small section for unsaturated oils and spreads, which includes plant-based oils like rapeseed, olive and nut oils, and also plant-based spreads. Some fat is essential in a healthy balanced diet, but many of us are eating too much saturated fat, so we should be swapping to unsaturated fats for cooking, salad dressings and spreads. But remember that while unsaturated fats and oils are healthier choices, all fats are high in calories so should be consumed in small amounts. So healthy sources of fats in our diet tend to come from vegetable and plant oils, so the kind of oils such as sunflower oil, olive oil, um, a very healthy source is also from fish oil which contains um, particular fatty acids that our body is unable to make but that have very important physiological functions. Unhealthy sources of fat tend to be rich in saturated fats and these come from uh, many uh, animal products such as meats, some dairy and also they're very rich um, in tropical oils so we need to be a little bit cautious with our intake of tropical oils such as coconut oil and palm oil. The Eat Well Guide has included a specific section relating to fats and oils in recognition of the importance of fats and oils in our diet. Uh, previously, uh, fats and oils have sometimes received negative uh, attention, but actually it's such an important component of our diet and it's really important that we have an adequate intake of our the healthy fats, which are the unsaturated fats in our diet. And this new category in the Eat Well Guide really recognises that and encourages us to ensure that we have an adequate intake of these fats. So remember, choose unsaturated oils and spreads and use these in small amounts. It's not only important to eat well, but we should also think about what we drink and make healthier choices. Keeping well hydrated is an essential part of a healthy diet. The Eat Well Guide recommends that we drink six to eight glasses of fluid a day. You may need more during hot weather or when you're being active. Some drinks contribute to our daily energy intake. Drinks containing sugars should be limited. Swap them for diet, sugars free or no added sugar varieties or unsweetened tea and coffee to reduce your intake of sugars. The best choices of drinks for dental health include water and low fat milks. So juice and smoothies count towards fluid intake and can be a good source of nutrients like vitamin C, but they contribute to our free sugars intake which we want to try and limit. 
So we're recommended to drink no more than a combined maximum total of 150 millilitres a day, which is a small glass. And don't forget that most of the fibre in whole fruit and vegetables is lost when they are juiced. How do foods like sweets, pastries and sugars sweetened drinks fit into a healthy balanced diet? Foods that are high in fat, salt and sugars sit outside the main image on the Eat Well Guide. This is to show that they are not a necessary part of a healthy diet. If these foods are chosen, they should be eaten only occasionally and in small amounts. This is because these foods and drinks contain lots of calories, particularly when you have large servings, and too much salt in our diet can raise our blood pressure. To help you select foods that are low in fats, salt and sugars, check the food labels on front and back of pack and the ingredients list. Ingredients are listed in descending order of weight, and don't forget sugars may appear in the ingredients list as things like honey, fruit concentrate and syrup. You can find the Eat Well Guide on the UK Government's website. We hope you have enjoyed watching and have learnt lots about the Eat Well Guide. For more information about healthy eating, do go to our websites nutrition.org.uk or foodafactoflife.org.uk.